Bakit nga ba nagagawa ng isang representative animals yung mga bagay-bagay na magbibigat? Paano nga ba siya nagsusurvive sa environment? Ayan po natin yan. Fox Learning Channel Sa araw na ito, pag-aaralan po natin ang organ system of representative animals and its functional relationship of different organ system ensuring animal survival Hopefully, makatulong po ang video ito sa ating mga distance learners, lalong lalo na sa mga grade 11 senior high school who are taking pet and life science Tara, samahan niyo po ako sa video ito Okay, ang pag-aaralan po natin ngayon ay Organ Systems of Representative Animals and Functional Relationships of the Different Organ System in Ensuring Animal Survival. Ito po ay matatagpuan sa Module 26 and 27 sa Earth and Life Science for Senior High School. Ang ating learning target is to identify the different organ systems of representative animals. Sa alamin po natin, ano-ano nga ba yung iba't ibang organ systems ng isang animal, ng isang representative animals. Describe the characteristics of the different organ systems of representative animals. We will describe it. And identify the different function of the organs of the representative animals and lastly explain the functional relationship of the different function organ system in ensuring animal survival so kagaya nga ng lesson po natin paano nga ba ang nagagana kapag ang isang organism ay nagiging complex organism na siya or more complex organism. Based on the picture, ano nga ba yung makikita nyo? Kung matatanda po natin doon sa previous lesson po natin about organi organizational manage uh, development of, uh, of an organism, nagkakaroon na ng yung mga organs na nabuo from cell to tissue to organs at nagkaroon na ng interactions and then it will become a complex organism. Kapag complex organism na, ano na yung kanyang or ano na yung nangyayari sa isang uh, representative animals? Alamin po natin yan as we go along with our discussion. <clears throat> so, tunghayan po natin yung different organ system of an animal. The first is <clears throat> digestive system. I think karamihan po sa atin is aware about digestive system since if I'm not mistaken, elementary pa lang itinuturo na po ito. I think grade 4 tinuturo na po sa atin of what is a digestive system based on the picture shown there. Andiyan po yung ating digestive system. Ayan po. An animal nutrition is the process of taking in or taking apart and taking up the nutrients from the food source. So, nagiging, na, nagiging nutrition ang isang representative animal from the food na tinitake in niya. Which is processed by the digestive system. Food processing has four main stages. So, sa pag-process ng food ng isang representative animal, mayroong apat na stages. The ingestion, the digestion, absorption, and elimination of elimination or ingestion. So, that's the fourth process. Ingestion, syempre, you will take the food 
digestion, the food will be digested sa digestive system, of course, and then will be absorbed and eliminate or ingest yung mga waste. In animals with complete digestive system, where the entrance and exit of food and waste are different, they have different kind of mechanism of ingestion depending on their evolutionary adaptation or adaptation to their food. However, in other animals such as in cedarians or jellyfish, anemone or coral, where the entrance and exit of food and waste is the same, the regional where this occurs is called gastrovascular cavity. So, iba yung process naman ng pag, pag intake digestion ng jellyfish. Sabi nga dyan, the entrance and exit of food waste is the same. Unlike those ad, uh, some animals or other animals na magkaiba yung ingestion at saka uh, at the same time yung elimination, ingestion. Sa tao, ang ingestion niya, syempre, sa mouth. Okay? However, ang ingestion naman niya is sa anus. So another significant system sa isang complex organism or sa isang animal is the respiratory system. So from the word respiratory, respiration. Again, I I am sure aware na kayo of what is a respiratory system. So based on the picture illustrated here, from the nostril, from the nose to the esophagus, to the lungs and diaphragm, that's the respiratory system. So what is the significance of respiratory system? Gas exchange is very important among animals, of course, as they require oxygen in the production of higher amount of energy compared to process of energy production without oxygen. So a, a complex organism or representative animals cannot produce energy without oxygen. And oxygen can be taken from the respiratory system. Without it, a, a representative animals might die. Air is a respiratory medium. As air is lighter and has more oxygen content compared to the same volume of water, Ventilation is not much of the problem of terrestrial organism. The human respiratory system includes the lungs, based on the picture which was shown, and the structures that move air to and from the lungs. The respiratory tract is lined with cilia or cilia to filter debris and dust. The air flowing through the respiratory system is also warmed to body temperature and saturated with water. Now, the upper respiratory tract consists of three structure, upper respiratory tract, the nasal cavities and the interconnected sinuses the, the pharynx, the larynx or voice box, and the vocal cords. The tonsils are lymphatic tissue at the junction between the mouth and the pharynx. However, the glottis is the opening between the pharynx and the larynx, as shown in the picture illustrated a while ago. The respiratory tract consists of respiratory tree. So, ano ba yung respiratory tree? Trachea or white windpipe, the bronch bronchae or the primary bronchae leading to each lung and the smaller branching bronchioles within each lung and the sac-like alveoli at the end of each bron bronchioli or 
sa'yo na yun. For gas exchange, of course. The tracheal system of insects, for instance, has a bron branch network of tracheal tube with respond to the problem of decreased surface area in the respiratory structure. So for insects, yun yung system po nila. The tracheal system opens externally through <clears throat> the side of the insect through a structural called spiracle. Air enters and exit through the spiracles. For insects ito, ah, as the respiratory system of an insect are independent from their circulatory system, gases is directly exchanged through the tracheals, tracheals which have extension that are directly connected to the cell. So that's the difference of insects to other uh, representative animals. Air sacs act like aspirators, which takes in and push out air out of the body of the, ins of the insects. <clears throat> However, kung ganun yung insects, ito naman yung mga mammals. The mammalians respiratory, respiratory systems comparing to insects, mammals and other organisms have respiratory systems that work together with their circulatory system. So paano nangyayari? Gases are transported via the bloodstream and are exchanged via diffusion. So in respiratory system, may tinatawag po tayong terrestrial ventilation. This terrestrial ventilation is the alternating process of inhalation and exhalation. There are two mechanisms of breathing. One is positive breathing and the other is negative breathing. So sa breathing pala, merong positive, merong negative. In positive breath, breathing, air is pushed into the lungs, such as in frogs. Okay? Another significant organ system of a complex organism is the circulatory system. So sa circulatory system, may tinatawag na open and closed circulatory system. So dito po sa mga pictures illustrated, mayroon po diyang example of open and closed circulatory system. So there are different ways in which animals transport substances across their body. In animals with closed circulatory system, the circulatory fluid does not go out of the vessel. And then the exchange occurs through diffusion via thinner vessels called capillaries across the interstitial, interstitial fluid. Kagaya ng sinabi ko kanina, sa circulatory system may tinatawag na open at may rin ding tinatawag na closed circulatory system. Pag sinabi po nating open circulatory system, more complex organism have, have this type of circulatory system. A circulatory system involves a heart that pumps fluid through the organism. So heart. Yung heart, yung kasi yung nag, nag ano, kaya importante yung heartbeat para ma-pump na yung blood all throughout the system of your body. Without the heart pumping, so probably blood will not circulate all throughout your body. In an open circulatory system, <clears throat> a tubular heart pumps hemolym through channels and cavities throughout the body. The hemolym is returned to the heart by passive flow. So, ganun yung proseso kapag ka closed, I, I mean open circulatory system. Ano naman yung difference niya sa closed circulatory system? Ang closed circulatory system 
or cardiovascular system includes strong heart and blood vessels. The heart pumps the blood to the body and receives the blood return to the heart. There are three types of blood vessels, arteries, veins, and capillaries. For some simple organisms, circulatory system is not necessary. So may mga complex organism naman na hindi kailangan para sa kanila yung circulatory system. For instance, hydra and plan planarians are so small. For example, the diffusion provides for the movement of fluid, gases, and waste. For nematodes and echinoderms, movements of the organism provide for the movement of the internal fluids. <clears throat> Now, different animals have adopted different mechanisms for transport such as in fishes where a single circulation is enough compared to cedarians, the gastrovascular cavity of flat worms have extensions in order to reach areas of the body far from the axis. Without this, extensions of the gastrovascular cavity, diffusion might not be enough in the transport of substances. So different forms of animals probably have different process of <clears throat> circulatory system. For instance, an amphibian double circulation differs from mammalian. So iba naman yung amphibian. Sabi nga dyan, meron siyang double circulation from the mammalian. Uh, crocod crocodilian and avian as blood is mixed. The presence of one ventricle does not prevent the mixing of blood. Unlike in the four-chambered heart of a mammal, crocodilian and an avian where the ventricle is divided into two. Mixing blood does not have major implications of the amphibians. So amphibians have low metabolic rate and less need for energy. <clears throat> they have the ability to respire through their skin and not needing to fully oxygenate the blood through the lungs. Kaya different naman, different yung kanilang circulatory system. Another important organ system of a complex organism is the urinary system. So based on the picture, ito po yung ating urinary system. Kid, uh, from the kidney, ureter, bladder, and urethra. <clears throat> In order to remove waste, animals have the excretory system, which enables enables it to remove excess salt or water in the body. So yung water, wastewater ng isang complex organism ay dadaan yan sa urinary, urinary <clears throat> system. Waste removal follows the following processes. Filtration, reabsorption, secretion, and extraction. Organisms have different waste in their form of nitrogenous waste which they need to excrete. Different organisms have different excretory system again, such as the protonepedia or flatworms, metanepedia of annelids, malpigian tub tubules of insects, and the nephrons of humans and mammals. <clears throat> Again, every organism has its own system, kaya magkakaiba din sila ng system, organ systems and processes, e, uh, even their urinary, urinary process. The mammalian kidneys serve several important functions. So, so for mammals, excretion of nitrogenous waste 
maintenance of water salt balance of blood, maintenance of blood pH. The urine of mammalian made by the kidneys process through the ureter to the urinary bladder where it is stored prior to excretion through the urethra. And another significant organ system of an complex organism, of a complex organism is the immune system. So yan po yung ating picture illustration for our immune system. Immune system defends the internal environment from invading microorganisms and viruses. Lalo na po ngayon. Napaka-significant po ng ating immune system because of the virus na naganap sa ating paligid. As well as the cancer cell growth. The immune system provides cells that aid in protection of the, of the body from disease via antigen antibody response. A variety of general responses are also part of this system. So, yan po yung ating <clears throat> immune system to illustrate on the picture. To summarize, to summarize, to show how we acquired or paano ba tayo magiging may immune to innate or acquired immunity para hindi tayo mahawa ng isang virus or ng isang nakakatakot na cell, cancer cell, for example. So ito po yung process. Invading microbes o pathogens. Paano nga ba natin ma-invade? So ito po yung ginagawa ng ating immune system. So syempre ito yung skin natin. For example, yung skin which covers our whole body. The muscus membrane and the secretions. Iyan po yung tinatawag po nating external defenses. So, meron tayong external defenses. Yung skin, uh, muscles, membranes, and the secretions. Tapos, may tinatawag naman pong internal defenses. Ito po yung mga uh, phagocytic cells, antimicrobial proteins, inflammatory responses, and natural killer cells. So, nasa system po yan, internal system po natin. Internal defense ng ating immune system na po yan. <clears throat> so, paano maka-acquire? Acquire, acquired immunity, slower responses to specific microbes. So, kailangan, kaya kailangan po natin ng mga antibodies. And then, cell-mediated med response or cytotoxic and hypocytes. hypocytes. So, that's how immu uh, immune system works. Another significant organ system of a complex organism is the endocrine system. <clears throat> this is our endocrine system based on the picture illustrated. The endocrine system involves the gland that secrete the body's hormones into the bloodstream. The glands. Ito po yung glands po natin. Uh, you have the pineal gland, pituitary gland, parathyroid gland, thyroid gland, thy, uh, thymus or thymus gland, adrenaline gland, and their parts. Okay? That's 
the glands, the endocrine system. The endocrine system works with the nervous system to provide homeostasis in the body. <clears throat> Hormones are substances which can cause reactions to a cell. In Greek, it literally means to excite. So yung hormones, to react or to excite. So yun yung word ng hormones. It is secreted into extracellular fluid such as in blood or lymph and transported to target cells to elicit a specific response which can be rapid or slow. The growth and development of a body are examples of slow or a long-term effect of a hormone while circadian rhythm, which is responsible for the sleep and wake cycles respond to more rapid responses to a hormone. In an endocrine pathway, their action involves an endocrine cell, which releases the hormones to the bloodstream or the lymphatic system, which is able to attack or attach to receptors of a target cells. Okay? And, of course, another significant organ system is the nervous system. Ito po yung ating nervous system. Based on the picture illustration, the central nervous system is composed of brain, spinal cord, while the Peripheral nervous system is composed of corresponding structures outside of these two organs of the nervous system. The central nervous system is responsible, responsible for data or information processing, which is gathered by the peri peripheral nervous system. Upon processing, the central nervous system transmits the message again to the peripheral nervous system, which then convey the message for the appropriate response. So that's how the process, that's how the nervous system works. CNS process, PNS respond. The nervous system has evolved in increasing complexity throughout the different groups of animals. Connections among the neurons has increased as seen in the development of the nervous system from simple nervous net to system with ganglia or group of neurons to encephalize organisms where contract concentration of neurons are centered in a head. And we have also the muscular system, the significant organ system of a complex organism. The skeletal muscular is organized from the largest structure or the muscle tissue itself to its functional unit, the sarcomer, as a repeating or longitudinal, longitudinal uh, structure that bound together. Contraction is possible because of the structural organization of protein molecules that makes up the sarcomer. When contraction occurs, the sarcomer shortens. Of this is, and this is reflected in the contraction of the muscles. You can ask the, the students. So, ayan, try to flex your muscles. Try to flex your muscle or shorten your muscle. So, nagkakaroon ng contraction. When you flex your muscles, contraction of four. In terms of the molecular and physiological process of contraction, nerve impulse transmission is needed to depolarize the cell membrane of the muscle to stimulate contraction. Gusto ko sana magpakita ng mag-flex kaya kaso wag na lang. And baka maging skeletal system tayo. Lastly, skeletal system. 
the skeletal system provides supports and protection and attachment points of for muscle. Based on the, ito po yung ating ano, illustration of a skeletal system. The skeletal system provides rigid framework for movement. It supports and protects the body and body parts, produces blood cells, and stores minerals. A clam shell is an example of an exoskeleton. And the bones and cartilage in the human is an example of endoskeleton. An endoskeleton should not be misconceived to be only made up of bones, as even in humans, our skeletons are made up of cartilage and bones, while sharks and the skeleton is made up of cartilage. Take note for that. We have different bones which our muscles can pull to create movement. Without the bones, probably no movement. And the different types of joints are responsible for different movements that our body can create. Okay. So nine, significant organ system that a complex organism has for e, for him or for it to do, to go, to work more, act more according to its function, according, uh, according to its purpose. Now, what are the functional relationships of the different organ system in ensuring animal, animal survival? So, bawat organism, bawat animal, or uh, representative animal has its own organ systems and purpose and function of its own organ system. Alamin po natin, ano nga ba yung mga functions ng bawat organ system na to? So, of course, a complex organism has various or consists of different and or various organ system in which each organ system contains several specific organs and functions. So here, makikita po natin yung isang table showing system of the body, yung major organ of its system and the function of the organ system. For instance, the digestive system, ang major organ po niya is esophagus, stomach, small intestine and large intestine, and rectum. Yung function niya in process to survive is to absorb nutrients, minerals, vitamins, and water. However, the respiratory system, ang major organ niya is nose, trachea, bronchi and lungs at ang major function niya for survival to ensure an animal will survive is to deliver air to sites where gas exchange can occur. <clears throat> Circulatory system, for instance, ang major part niya is heart, blood vessels, heart and blood vessels. Ang major purpose niya for an organism, complex organism survive is to transport oxygen, nutrient, and other substances to the cells and transport waste, carbon dioxide, and other substances away from the cells help to stabilize body temperature and pH. However, the urine, your, 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 your urinary system, major parts is kidney, urinary bladder, and ureter, helps removes excess water, salts, and waste food products from the blood and body and controls pH, so on and so forth. The immune system, nervous system, endocrine system, muscular system, and skeletal system, the major parts for immune system, bone marrow, thymus, for nervous system, brain, spinal cord, endocrine system, ang kanyang major parts is glands and produ which produce hormones, for muscular system, ang major parts is muscles and tendons, for skeletal system, the bones, cartilages, and ligaments. 
for the functions for for survival for immune system depends against microbial pathogens and other diseases for nervous system collects and transfers the process information and direct direct short term changes in our organ system for endocrine provides communication within the body via hormone for muscular system provides movement support and heat production and for skeletal system supports and protects soft tissue of the body provide and then provide movements of joint produces blood vessels so that's how a complex organism works with its organ systems and how in how a complex organism survive by his or her organ system the functions the major parts of the organ system and how an complex organism survive using this organ system as a complex organism that's all for now hopefully may natutunan po kayo sa video ng ito marami pong salamat sa pakikinig at wag niyo po wag mong kalimutang i-subscribe ang channel na ito happy learning Isang makabuluhang aralin na naman ang natunghayan po natin sa araw na ito. Sana po sa ating mga distance learners, senior high school distance, learn, distance learners, ay nakatulong po ito sa inyo. Nakatulong po ang video ito sa inyo. Marami pong salamat sa panonood. Happy learning everyone!